Hello people and welcome to yet another video. In this video, I'll be comparing my top 5 picks for best CSS frameworks. So please know that this is just my top 5 picks and you know, please let me know your top 5 picks down in the comment section below. As most of us know that Bootstrap and Foundation are the current leaders for CSS frameworks. But if you ask me what my choice of preference is, well, let's just keep that for the end comparing all the five. Note that this is not a rating of some kind. This is just a number in an ordered fashion. So here are my top five picks for CSS framework, starting off with Bulma IO or some people would call Bulma IO. You have Semantic UI, UI Kit, and of course Bootstrap as well as Foundation. So before diving into what the actual features are of these uh, CSS frameworks, let's just see how you you know get started with you know how you get started with using these frameworks so i'm going to show you uh, only for bootstrap because i mean everything else is really similar to it so if you go to the uh, you know the home page of bootstrap and scroll down you'll find the cdn link over here so you can just copy that cdn link or just hit on this copy, which will be copied onto your clipboard and paste it in your HTML file. And please note that all the links will be in the description. So you just need, you need not go anywhere. So first up, I'm gonna go to my Atom text editor. I'm gonna create a directory. Let's call it CSS top. And inside this CSS top, I'm gonna create a file. Let's just call it abc.html and I'll type HTML and let's just let's just get started with it. So inside my head part, I'm gonna paste that CDN link. So remember to always paste the CDN link inside your head part, and you can just start. You know, work now once this link is connected, you can just start working with Bootstrap. So similarly, it is for everything else. You also get a starter template on Bootstrap. Uh, and if you ask me how to do it for foundation, you can just, if you come in this page, the link will be in the description. Again, if you come in the home page, you'll, uh, on your left hand side, you'll have a get started main topic. And here you'll call, you will have something called as installation. So if you click on that installation, uh, my internet is down. It's going to take some time. So be patient. And yeah, down here you have NPM install foundation sites and other queries as well so you can just copy and paste it inside your command prompt and you know just start working with it or you can just do another thing that is copy the cdn links which is over here copy and paste it again in the head part and start working with it so what the cdn link does is it connects your uh, computer over the internet to that foundation and these npm and pnpm links will you know, connect your uh, foundation to your site locally through your computer itself. And same thing, if you come over here in UI kit, click on get started. And over here again on the left hand side, you have something called as installation. So you can click on that. And in order to download it, again, you have this thing over here that is yarn add UI kit. You can also connect it through your GitHub or again, just copy the CDN links. Same thing will be for semantic UI as well as uh, Bulma or Bulma. You have NPM link, which is, uh, you know, which is usually recommended by Bulma, but you don't need to do that. You can just copy the CDN link over here. And you also, uh, if you uh, don't know how to copy or uh, find out what the CDN link is, you can just always scroll down and, you know, copy and paste the starter template, which also has the CDN link. Uh, I guess I didn't show you how to do it for semantic UI. So after you click on get started, you can just come down here and after installing homebrew and brew installation node, you can just start working with it locally or down here you'll also find your uh, the CDN link which you can just copy and paste it inside your HTML file. The reasons why I'm telling you to copy the CDN link instead of downloading it locally is that the connections are really complicated. You just need to give the entire path of, you know, free, a few modules. So instead you can just copy and paste the link and start working with the documentation. 
right so now that we know how to connect and start using the documentation let's just begin understanding the features and what makes them stand out from each other if you want to know more about them the article links will be in the description below so check that out you will have a better idea of what the features are and you know how you can make the most of it so yeah uh, let's just start explaining the features and documentations of each page so first up let's just get started with Balma IO. Balma has several cohesive techniques to create an interface as it uses semantic classes and not the actual elements or um, in other words you can say it uses idiomatic templates if that makes sense to you. Balma hasn't even version 1.0 I mean it is still in version 0.8.2 which is just the beta version but it already has 150 plus downloads and you know god knows how many CDN connections like we just made I mean we haven't downloaded but we have connected the CDN link so you never know how many people have done that if it is more than 150,000 plus subscribers or downloads I'm really sorry so in order to understand what makes Balma so famous among the front-end web developers you need to know you know how easy it is to work with as you can see in the background i'm just dragging and dropping the stuff out of balma's documentation and making some minor changes and i get what i want at the end there are a lot of benefits such as responsivity well documented it has solid foundation and various components among itself and one of the most major features which I found out while using Burma was its modularity and for the people who don't understand what modularity is you don't really need to know and the reason why I love Burma and I use Burma is that it's incredibly lightweight framework and one of the easiest one to just begin with so what I'm going to do now is make few edits in the form that I just copied out of it I'm going to save it and uh, I'll copy the path uh, like this. If you have used Atom IO, I mean, you'll know what I'm doing. So I'm going to open my Edge browser. And the reason why I'm not using uh, any other browser, such as Mozilla Firefox or uh, you can say Google Chrome, is that you know, few things just doesn't show up in those browsers. And Edge just almost always works for me. So whenever I test my website, I use Edge. And as you can see, I created a form which was, I guess, it is under two minutes. And it already looks so good. So that's it. Right, now let's just talk about the semantic UI. Semantic UI is a new gen front end framework powered by jQuery. It is sleek and flat in design. And by lightweight, it has a lot of users around the globe. Some of its main features are user interface element, user interface collection, its modules, user interface view, and the behavior of the user interface again. Semantic UI is one of the most well-structured framework based on their naming conventions. And if you really want to know how the naming conventions are used, you can just, um, let me just say it is the Python, but for CSS framework if you know what I mean. It provides you with style guide and directions of use on how to write and modify your code or as I like to call it codify your CSS. It also has a unique feature that is not present in other frameworks that is it has field and comments in its component section as well as um, shapes and sidebars in its module section. It can be tricky sometimes because it turns out to be too basic you cannot really do anything with the colors and other parts but it is tricky to use as well I mean if you want to know how to use it if you click on that source code you will have a visual as well as the code in the background so you can just copy the CDN link as well as the source code and just start working with it after editing I won't recommend you semantic UI until unless you know what you're working with Right, now let's talk about a UI kit. It is lightweight modular front-end framework for fast development of sites. 
Its main feature is that it is used to construct and manage event-driven UI for your iOS apps, basically. Provides the main window and view architecture for delivering multi-touch inputs and more. So basically, this is for iOS and other stuff. UI kit, as it sounds, is really a kit for your user interface, but it is lightweight, modular, and really pushes the bar low sometimes, and it gets too basic. The lack of CSS edits and the lack of documentation makes it one of the least interesting one. So, I mean, it is good for a beginner to start off with, but for a long run, I won't recommend you the UI kit because even the documentation page, if you go, you won't really find anything interesting over there. So let me just show you how I created this simple form and how really basic it looks. And the reason, I mean, after being a web developer, if you have the framework like this, it just really pisses me off. Next, let's talk about Bootstrap and why it is one of my favorite ones and why I chose to begin with. First of all, it's free, open sourced, and one of the you know first front end framework that was designed for mobile. It provides you with classes like Container and Jabutron, which we'll discuss a little later. And both these containers do one thing that is improves the aesthetic of your web page. Its CSS flex box gives you easily you know defined rows and columns as well and the most lightweight and well-known framework is you know i guess it is in its fourth generation right now and since it's released in 2011 almost every developer is going berserk over it anyone who wants to start with web development goes to bootstrap and just documents the hell out of it and if you have watched my previous videos even i have said you many times to just document bootstrap and you'll really know how easy, how easy it is to become a front-end web developer. And lastly, I recommend bootstrap for everyone to begin with. It is really very beginner friendly. So I just copied my CDN link, copied a simple form. So now I'm gonna copy the full path after making some edits and I'll paste it over here. And this is the form right now. And as I said, I'll be using up a container as well as the Jumbotron dev class. So I'm gonna cut it cut the whole form section over here first up i'm going to create a class container and then inside it it will be a nested class of jumbotron and the people who have followed me really knows how much i like using container uh, and jumbotron so i'm going to paste my form over here save it reload it and you know that's it this is the reason why i use bootstrap it just no it's really good right last but not the least it is foundation by Zerg the most complex but yet the best one you're ever going to use it is the mobile first framework that provides you with codes of html css as, as well as javascript with the visual of how your code is going to look and in the sixth edition of foundation which was released in 2015 if i'm not wrong you had something called as building blocks so here in the building blocks if you click on the code you will have uh visual your code but the main thing is the visual will be responsive i mean how cool is that you don't find it uh in many places and also what makes this foundation really good is that if you're a developer you can submit your own codes or your own designs over for you know for people to work with and down below you'll get html scss css and if that uh code uses or oh, sorry if that Visual uses your JavaScript, you will also find JavaScript as well. I mean, this is really not recommended if you're a beginner. I mean, if you are if you have already worked with Bootstrap and other stuff, I mean, I'll ask you to go for it. But if you're a beginner, I mean, it's not really good. Now that we have, you know, we really know what the features are and how to work with each and everything, it's finally time to reveal which my favorite is. I mean, I started with Bootstrap and I'll always have a bias to that and also have worked with Foundation and really know how good and how, uh, you know, how easy it is to work with Foundation. But really what impressed me the most is Bulma, of course. I mean, you know how easy it is to work with, you know its features, I mean, and there is no reason for not liking it. So this is my choice, let me know your choices in the comment section below your suggestions and your 
thoughts on how you like this video and yeah that's it thank you for watching stay in stay safe happy quarantine